Hello and welcome to IACD 101, what everyone ought to know about IACD. This video is a primer for those unfamiliar with the mission carried out by the Integrated Adaptive Cyber Defense IACD program under the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Lab. The current state of play for organizations and their cyber defensive position is being constantly outmatched by adversaries looking to negatively impact their business, be it by stealing intellectual property, disrupting business operations, or some other nefarious act. The complexity and tempo of attacks are continually increasing. An organization's ability to respond is hindered by information sharing between organizations that is limited primarily to phone calls and email. Their defenders are inundated with alerts from various network appliances and security devices. This situation often results in slow response times with potentially inconsistent application of an organization's policies and procedures due to expediency or shortcuts from lack of staff resources. Ultimately, this situation cannot be resolved by simply hiring more staff. A new and dynamic approach is needed to overcome the obstacles of the current cybersecurity environment, one that enables the defender to reside on the loop instead of in the loop, an approach that uses automation to complete routine tasks, thereby allowing defenders to tackle hard technical problems. If implemented properly, then response times can be measured in minutes instead of hours or days, as is currently. Information can be shared between organizations at machine speed. Automation can be inserted into multiple steps of the decision loop, allowing defenders to monitor and then intervene only if necessary. This is the IACD difference, moving the nation to a responsive and agile defense across enterprises by shaping the landscape for automation and orchestration. This is the next evolution of cybersecurity defense. The goal of IACD is for multiple automated enterprise organizations to exchange information and defensive measures at machine speed. Automation will also be used for ingestion of the shared information and defensive measures. Humans are therefore freed from repetitive tasks and can now provide positive control for sensitive and higher risk responses. IACD aims to achieve this by defining a strategy and framework for organizations to adopt an extensible and adaptive, commercial, off-the-shelf-based approach to cybersecurity. There are five tenets that guide the work and research performed on the IACD project. The first is promotion of information sharing. Collaboration between organizations, especially those with similarities in aspects like industry, customer base, or geographic location, can help improve the collective cyber defense. IACD advocates for the sharing of cyber threat information, indicators and intelligence through development and maintenance of trusted relationships. Initiatives such as the Department of Homeland Security's automated indicator sharing capability is just one critical enabler to such collaboration. The second tenet is that enterprise security tools and appliances should allow for plug and play functionality. The IACD model is meant to be applied globally such that organizations can switch products and services without needing to significantly re-engineer their network and operations. The third tenet is interoperability through the development and adherence to standards. IACD has developed several non-binding thin specifications that suggest a minimum set of requirements for concepts important to achieving the strategy and framework put forth by this project. Examples of available thin specifications include one for orchestrators and another for playbooks. IACD advocates that solutions developed for one organization should be exchangeable and usable by the community whenever possible to minimize vendor lock-in. The fourth tenet is supporting Bring Your Own Enterprise. IACD believes that technical diversity promotes adoption because every organization has different needs and requirements when it comes to network appliances, security devices, and policies. One size does not fit all, so organizations should be able to participate in this community without needing to change their enterprise systems and tools. The fifth and final tenet is the concept of dialable levels of automation. Automation can reduce an organization's workload while improving tempo and consistency when deployed thoughtfully and correctly. But implementation should not be a one-way road towards greater and greater automation. Rather, organizations should be able to also decrease the amount of automation to meet their needs at any given time. 
For example, let's say that a new security tool is being purchased to replace a legacy system. The organization can reduce the amount of automation carried out by the security orchestration, automation and response, also known as SOAR platform, until they are comfortable with the tool's performance, and then dial up the automation gradually as their comfort level increases. The IACD program is sponsored by the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, and the National Security Agency, NSA, in collaboration with the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, JHU-APL. Since its inception in 2014, the breadth of key relationships to make this endeavor a success has steadily grown to include members of the Department of Defense, several civilian agencies, academia and nonprofits, as well as critical infrastructure. The commercial community is represented with an ever-expanding number of integrators, vendors, and users of SOAR platforms. The rate of adoption for IACD tenants, along with the strategy and framework it provides, continues to grow with each additional participant in any of these groups. For the past several years, IACD transitioned out of pure research and development into actual applications into live environments. IACD has had the opportunity to engage in several pilot deployments with organizations in both the federal and commercial space, where the impacts of successful deployments have been positive and significant. An organization's capacity to manage larger amounts of indicators, events, and endpoint protections has increased, while timelines to remediation of events has been reduced from hours to minutes. Automation is allowing for the rapid evolution of increasingly complex workflows and decisions, thereby freeing analysts to focus on the real hard analysis and decision-making. Finally, the diversity, flexibility, and availability of commercial products in this SOAR space has grown from only a handful of vendors back in 2014 to a robust marketplace of tools and services with even more sources of threat information from both government and commercial entities. One specific example of an IACD pilot is the joint effort with the Financial Services Information Sharing and Analysis Center in 2017. This included the financial institutions of MasterCard, Huntington Bank and Regions Bank. This pilot's focus was on the use of automation to enhance the use of threat indicators of compromise. The pilot generated several valuable lessons learned when deploying SOAR. Two promising technical results when comparing timelines when using SOAR and legacy processes are generation of threat IOCs can occur approximately six hours faster, and actions upon said IOCs can be taken within three minutes of receipt instead of approximately eight hours. The chart on the right shows the difference in the amount of time it takes for response to an IOC, depending on the amount of automation incorporated in the process. You can see that augmenting the IOC resolution process with automation, while still having a human analyst manually review and close out the ticket reduced time to resolution from 14 hours to roughly 6 hours. With complete automation that has no human in the loop, remediation could theoretically be achieved in minutes. Such a scenario would likely only appropriate for all IOCs that are deemed low regret. But usage of this strategy by blocking IOCs with no prevalence in an organization's network would yield a staggering speed increase of 8,800%. This introductory video covers just a fraction of the material IACD has produced over the years. There is also additional information on the IACD website, including white papers, technical specifications, and guides on adopting IACD. The IACD website also provides technical guidance for adopting SOAR. If you would like more background on the concepts behind security orchestration, automation, and response, there are additional links provided in the comments section of this video. Please note that IACD does not endorse any solution here. Thank you for viewing this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're interested in getting the latest updates on videos the IACD program produces.